guys, what's going on? Kim here. We <laughs> just here. Plank. Kim's gone. Plank. Planked. Plank. You got planked, and it's starting to get foggy. Plank. No, it's not a prank. It's getting foggy. What's going on, you guys? Can't be on a camera here. Bridge of us here. This is the worst part about doing videos during the summer. Because I like to be outside. Because if you can't tell, I'm really athletic and agile. And I like to be outside a lot. Plank! So I've got to keep wiping the lens repeatedly. And repeatedly. And replete, replete, I was going to say repeatedly. <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah, this intro took about 30 minutes. Plank! Plank! And today is Thursday, which means today is Throwback Thursday, which means I got a Throwback Thursday story for you. So before I start the vlog, I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you how cool you guys have been, how cool it is to always have you guys on our side, how it's cool to have your support. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. This prank tomorrow is for all of you. This prank tomorrow is for Grandpa. This prank is for me. This prank's for everybody. This prank's for me? Nope. Everybody but Bridget. What? So I'm uploading the video tomorrow about 6 o'clock. I really hope you guys are there to see it. I... What is that? Snake! What? Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck. Play. End of intro. <laughs> yeah, I'm finishing the intro in here. Forget Bridget and her little snake pranks. I'm about to lock the door on her anyway. So, thank you guys for always being there. I hope you guys are there tomorrow to see the prank. Experience this with us. I'm really excited to show you. Now I'm really excited to lock Bridget out. Michael? I heard a noise out there. The fuck? What the? I can't even open the window. Oh, man. Well, the prank backfired on me. The camera fell on the sink, and I just spent the last 15 minutes trying to get water out of it to make sure it still works. This sucks. What the hell, Michael? Okay. This is like embarrassing as hell, dude. Oh my god. Hold on, let me fix this. What are you doing? I was trying to open the window. There we go. Oh my god. Why does it do this? Why? Are you, it doesn't do that to me. You are so clueless. I feel bad for you, dude. Boom. All the way down. Bridget has slammed the whistle again. How's it feel? Amazing. Oh my god. I need food. Me too. Let's eat. Oh, you come on on the game? Yes. Well, I'm heading up the stairs. A familiar sight for me. Yeah, I guess obviously it's a familiar sight because I live here, but <laughs> I haven't been in here for a little bit. I promised I was going to do this and I didn't do it. I promise I am going to get to this eventually. <laughs> At some point I'm going to get to this. I just can't bring myself to freaking picking all this up. I also want to get my niece a big collection of wrestling toys. Uh, so if you guys know a good place, a website, somebody selling them, somebody who's got a bunch of these wrestlers, let me know. I'm looking to buy some for my niece. I want to get a whole bunch of them. She's a huge wrestling fan. I didn't know how much she liked it until they came to visit. So I want to get her as many as I can get. So if you know anybody selling any, write me on Twitter. Just If you see some on Craigslist, just let me know. At one point while Kim was here, she filmed me playing with Barbie dolls with Lily and Eliza. I'm hoping she doesn't upload the video. Don't write her and ask for the upload. Don't do it. Oh. Looking at all this, I, I'm having shit I didn't even realize I had. John Morrison, Tajiri. I have a Chuck Liddell Undertaker hybrid that I was using pretending he was somebody else. Like, oh God. So one of the main reasons I chose to come up here to look at the wrestling toys is because it deals with my Throwback Thursday story. And it is about the time, it's not even really a time, because 
I've always played with wrestling toys, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about my history with wrestling toys. As far back as I can remember, I played with wrestling toys. Ever since I started watching wrestling, I started collecting action figures, and I always played with them. And it used to be uh, I couldn't have them in my room. There wasn't enough room for the wrestling toys in my room. So I had my entire setup in Grandpa's bathroom. Like, Grandpa didn't have a bathroom for a while. Uh, he had this big tub, and next to the tub, Tub, there was this like counter space and I put a ring on that and I filled the tub with all my wrestlers and I had fake blood and cages and weapons and wrestlers everywhere the setup was crazier than this there were toys everywhere which meant dad couldn't take a bath I was being a little bit of an asshole about it that would be at the table because I'm gonna take me a shower don't use that bath though my toys are in it don't fuck around with my shit yeah, I was an asshole. I wouldn't let dad use his own bathtub. He could only use the shower, with my permission. Sometimes I'd be playing with the wrestlers, and dad would come barging into the room. Get your goddamn ass out here, I gotta take a shit. I'd leave the room. I'd come back ten minutes later when he's done, and the bathroom would just smell and reek of shit. And I would just be playing with my wrestlers, breathing in shit. Oh my god, Stone Cold Steve Austin's done it! And that was sort of my life for about five years. And then we moved to another house and my room got bigger, so I was able to transform my wrestling toys into there. However, I needed a space, and back then I was really into independent wrestling, and I wanted to create my own little independent shows, and Dad had this big TV that was inside of a wooden frame. It was a frame TV. The TV was built into this wooden cabinet. I had no value of like money or objects at the time. So when dad was gone one day, he went to the store, I took a fucking sledgehammer and I bashed the TV until I was able to rip it out of that box. The TV itself I tossed in the backyard, I took the frame to my room, and I turned it into a little independent wrestling arena. I put the ring in the middle of it, and I put people around it, and didn't give a shit that I broke the TV. Dad gets back, what the fuck's the goddamn television shit? and I didn't care. I destroyed the TV, I kept it for my wrestlers, and they didn't even get mad at me. And I sort of carried on like this until now, until current day. I've always had a thing where I wanted to play with wrestling toys. I don't know, suspending belief? I don't know what it is. I just... <sighs> They're fun, dude. And I'm not the only one. You got people like Grimm from Grimm's Toy Show. He plays with fucking wrestlers, and his wife just threw his away. Who do you think you are, bitch? If you want to see the video where Grimm's wife throws his toys away, link below. Shame on her. If somebody knows where Grimm is, go to his trash and take him out so I can have him. But that's just a little bit of the history with me and wrestling toys. Oh god, sometimes I even use the toilet as if it was like one of those spring break shows and they throw him in the water. Dad just took a shit in that toilet. Yeah, I'm a kid. I'm a loser. I play with toys. And I can't stop because I love them. I fucking love toys. And I'll always play with them. Except Barbies. Kim, erase the video. I don't want no one to see me playing with Barbies because then they can finally say I do play with dolls. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Bridges downstairs. I'm going to end the vlog up here so she can't get in on this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Click like if you're excited for the video. I'm uploading it tomorrow around 6 p.m. Eastern time. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I worked very hard on this prank. <sighs> it was a good prank, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Thanks for watching. That was me and my toys, my little history with dolls. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite. And I've noticed I've had this color over me the whole time. Anyway, that's it.